in question number 170 figure below shows two paths that may be taken by a gas to go from state A to state C here on this PV diagram we can see the gas can be taken from state A to state C via two paths the first path is A B C and the second path is path A C further in process A B 400 joules of heat is added to the system so Q A B will be equal to 400 joules now this plus I am writing as we know if some amount of heat is added to the system then this heat will be taken as positive so this Q A B will be equal to plus 400 joules further 100 joules of heat is added to the system in process B to C so in this question it is being asked that the heat absorbed by the system in the process AC will be so the idea is whether we go from path ABC or path AC the internal energy change will be the same for the two paths because initial and final state for both of these two paths will be the same so delta U ABC will be equal to delta U AC so we'll be starting this question using QABC will be equal to QAB plus QBC so from here we can see this QAB plus QBC will be equal to 500 joules further if you wish to calculate the work done for this complete path ABC this will be the area under this curve and this curve is a rectangle so this area will be WAB plus WBC so this area will be 0 why it is 0 because this process AB is isochoric process and for isochoric process we know that work done is 0 and for path BC the work done will be this rectangle so WBC will be equal to 6 into 10 raised to the power 4 that is the length of this rectangle multiplied by 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 that is the width of this rectangle on solving we will be getting WABC will be equal to 120 joules further if we wish to write delta UABC so using first law of thermodynamics we can write QABC will be equal to delta UABC plus WABC on solving delta U A B C will be equal to 500 that is Q A B C minus W A B C that is 120 joules this will be equal to 380 joules so from here we know internal energy change for path A B C and this will be the same as that of for path A C so delta U A B C will be equal to delta u ac and that is equal to 380 joules in this question it is being asked that find out the amount of heat that is being supplied to the system during this process a to c so if we can calculate this work done for process a to c we know the change in internal energy for this process if work as well as change in internal energy we know then using first law of thermodynamics we can calculate heat supplied during the process A to C so WAC will be equal to the area of this trapezium and this will be equal to half into sum of parallel sides multiplied by the distance between these two parallel sides and this will be 80 joules so work done for process A to C will be equal to 80 joules whereas delta u a to c is equal to 380 joules so using first law of thermodynamics we can write q a c that is heat supplied during the process a to c will be equal to delta u a c plus w a c and this will be equal to this is 380 
this is 80 so the sum total will be 460 joules so the correct answer in this question is second option will be the correct answer that is 460 joules Yeah, I guess.